Hey guys, welcome to the Mesh Visibility and Layer Management tutorial for Blender. In this video, we're going to talk about how to hide a mesh if you don't want to see it anymore and get it out of the way, and how to bring back a mesh from being invisible or hidden. So to start off, it's very, very simple to actually hide a mesh. If you have your mesh selected, all you have to do to hide it is to press the H key and that hides your mesh. Now you might be wondering, well now it's gone, how do I unhide it, how do I bring it back, I can't select it anymore, I can't do anything. And yeah, essentially that's what it is, you can't do anything with any hidden mesh, it's out of play essentially. Now if you hit Alt H, that brings your hidden objects back. Now that brings back all of your hidden objects, so if we actually go ahead and um, add a few more things here, and let's say I hide both of these cubes, and you can hide multiple objects at once if you have them all selected, and you hit H, and now I want to hide this sphere, for example, right? So let's hide it separately. And let's say I want to, oh wait, hang on, I want to unhide the sphere. Unfortunately, if you hit Alt-H, it actually unhides everything. So any invisible object would then become visible again. So if you want to be a little bit more specific with what objects you want to hide and unhide, you can actually go into the outline as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this cube here with the H key. But let's go ahead and go into the outline, and you'll see, you'll notice that there's this eyeball. And this eyeball represents whether or not it's visible. So you can actually click on this eyeball, for example, for the camera. And you'll notice the camera is now missing. So let's bring that back real quick. And then the cube here, I can actually unhide the cube. And now that guy's back. So if I were to, for example, click and drag over these guys and hide everything, if I hit Alt-H right now, it would unhide everything. But if I just clicked on these, I could unhide individual ones um, without unhiding them all. So that's a good way to have a little bit more control over what you want visible and not visible but another way to do it is to use layers and layers are actually a very very powerful tool in blender uh, many softwares have them you've probably seen them in photoshop and stuff like that it's basically the same concept so first things first this is the layer management ui user interface so this layer management ui is going to help a lot in determining what layers are currently visible and which ones are invisible if they're dark like this, and we go ahead and click this. If they're dark, that means there's, that's the visible one, that's the selected layer. And if they're a lighter gray, then that means they're invisible. So you can actually hold shift and click multiple layers to have multiple layers visible. And I'll go ahead and show you more about what that looks like with the objects actually in it. But just to let you know, if there is a circle or a dot inside of this layer area, that means there's an object in it, otherwise it's empty. So let's go ahead and move this by pressing the M key for move. M for move, pretty intuitive, and that brings up the same UI but right next to your mouse, which is very convenient. So you can actually say, oh, I want to bring it to layer 2, right? Now, you don't have to click here, you can also hit the number 2, and that'll also bring it to layer 2. So now if we go to layer 2 here, this guy's here and nothing else. So this guy's the only thing on layer 2, so if you go to layer 2, he'll be alone. Everything else is hidden, essentially, so all the other layers are hidden. Now, I can actually shift-click this one, and suddenly you can see everything again. And if you ever see an orange dot in here, that basically means that your active object is in that layer. Ultimately, if the brighter orange is around your object, that means that is the active object. Now, remember when we could use M and then a number to move to a certain layer, as I just moved it to layer 3? You can also use numbers to denote what layer you want visible. So you can actually, if you just press the 1 key, that's layer 1. If you press the 2 key, on the number row by the way, not the number pad. If you press the 2 key, that's layer 2. Press the 3 key, that's layer 3. And you may have already guessed this, but if you hold shift and press 1, that is to add layer 1 to your visible layers. So you can actually, if you notice in the bottom there, I'm actually holding shift and doing all of them. You can add and remove with shift, of course. So you can just do that and toggle it on and off. And um, yeah, that's very, very simple, very intuitive. If you want to go to the second row of layers, you'll notice that the first row is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is 0. But the second row is Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, Alt 4, Alt 5, Alt 6, etc., etc. So you can actually do 1 and then Shift Alt 1. And that's, of course, adding the first layer of the second row and then 2, Alt 2, 3, Alt 3, and those are the different rows. Same thing goes with when you move an object, you can just say go to Alt 2, and that goes to layer Alt 2. And here we are in Alt 2, and that is the object we just moved to this layer. Now there's one more thing I want to bring your attention to, which is if you remember we used the outline before to hide and unhide objects, using layers does not hide your objects in the traditional sense. It's managed very differently. 
but achieves a similar thing. So if you were to go to layer 1 and hit Alt H, it doesn't bring up all the other objects on the other layers. Those are on different layers. Alt H only unhides objects on that particular layer. Now, another thing is if you take a look at the outline here, all of these eyes are visible because the objects were not set to be invisible, they're just set to be on a different layer. So they are technically visible. If you hide it here and you have the visibility turned off, and I go to a different layer and I come back to it, it's not going to show up because even if I select the layer to show it up, it's going to be a hidden object on that layer. So if you hit Alt H on this layer, you'll be able to find that the object is there. So that's just an important thing to keep in mind. Hiding and layer management are not entirely the same thing, but it's very, very similar in the fact that you can actually bring objects away from your workspace just for a second to help organize your thoughts and your scene. So. So yeah, if you want to learn more about the layer capabilities, I encourage you to look at the Render Layers tab, which has a lot more information on what you can do with the layers when you render. So you can render out different layers into different passes, and that helps with compositing and separating your background with your foreground if you put those on two different layers and stuff like that. So that's a little bit more advanced, but for the most part, it's just used for organization when you work.